Well, on our show, we like to show all different types of technology. Might not always have the budget for it, so when uh, we found out Christina was heading down to Costa Rica, uh, we got her outfitted with a cool underwater camera from Sea Life. Yeah, exactly. This is the Sea Life Micro HD Plus, and I took it on a little spin while I was taking my advanced open water course. Uh, so got to take some really cool photos of some marine life with it. Well, I've, uh, I've tried underwater cameras before, or what I thought were underwater cameras. You know, these uh, kind of splash-proof ones or water-resistant ones. Uh, but I've quickly found out that they're not truly waterproof. Uh, they've got all sorts of little ports and openings, and if you don't seal them properly, um, water gets in and then they're destroyed. I've destroyed two so far. Yeah, I mean, most underwater or waterproof cameras do have that issue. And then if you get a regular camera, you have to buy a separate housing, which can be expensive and cumbersome to get the I mean, camera yeah, those, in. Those housings that I've seen, uh, like for the Sony cameras, for example, they're almost, if not more expensive than the actual camera. Itself. Yes, yes, it's true. And then getting your camera into that and getting it back out and keeping things sealed is always a challenge. So what are some of the features of this that would set it apart from some of the other kind of semi-waterproof cameras? Well, this is rated to 60 meters, so that's actually more than a regular recreational diver would need. Um, so it also has an internal memory, it's 32 gigabytes, so you don't have to worry about an SD or a micro SD card that you have to take in and out and potentially uh, that's another opening for water to get into. So how do you hook this up to a computer? to get so, the pictures out. There's actually a little port down here and there's a rubber seal that goes on while you're underwater and then this little guy goes on and you can see there it's got the micro USB cable. So water can't literally get in that, that camera, it's completely sealed. It's completely sealed. So I see this particular one, it's uh, on the back there, it's got the bigger buttons yes, as well. Yes, it's got these piano buttons which are great because if you're underwater, first of all, it's harder to see and second, uh, if you've got gloves on, it's hard to maneuver little tiny buttons. Well, that's one thing, you know, even uh, without uh, having gloves on with my fat little man fingers, uh, on some of those other cameras, like, there's still the little tiny knobs and stuff. So when I was snorkeling trying to catch the sea turtle, uh, it just didn't work out. Another thing I noticed, though, with some of the underwater pictures I've taken before, they just look like hell. Like, it's just all murky and green, and it just seems lifeless. There's no color. Yeah, it's true. So this camera surprised me because my the conditions I was diving in were not ideal. The, vi the visibility was, you know, not the best, and everything looked quite green. And even when I looked at the pictures on the back screen there while I was taking them, everything looked green. But I was surprised when I took them off of the camera, and you can actually see that there are a lot of vibrant colors in that photo. That's, that's a beautiful photo, I mean, especially if you're into sea stars. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, this is like night and day difference between the ones that I've taken before on other cameras. Like, this is like crisp and clear, high definition, and you can actually see some color. Yes, and you will be surprised to hear that the visibility was not phenomenal on that day. Very cool. So what are some of the other accessories that you'd want to look at uh, now that you know this camera and you've used it? Yeah, you know, one thing that I found out while I was using it is there's no zoom on it. I didn't really think about it ahead of time, but there is actually a lens that you can attach that gives you 10 times zoom. Uh, it goes for about $40, so I think it's a great investment. That's not bad. Yeah, if, you, if you're into the macro, etc. And then you can also attach strobes to it. It doesn't have a flash, of course, so if you're... Scare all the fish away. Well, I mean underwater Photographers use strobes, yep. so um, it has the attachment and you can actually attach one or two strobes. But this camera actually does allow you to control the white balance, so if you're not in perfect visibility, you can actually still get pretty good pictures even if you don't have a strobe. So you're, you're paying for true underwater uh, capability here because you know the ones I've tried before uh, that obviously can't go to 60 meters, like they're just a couple hundred bucks. This yeah. Is more. Yeah. So this one comes in at $4.99, and it's the Micro HD Plus. It has Wi-Fi connectivity, so you can share with your phone that's cool. if that's something you're into. For me, what's more important is that it has a large internal capacity. So this is at 32 gigabytes. Uh, there's one step down, which is the Micro HD. So that's not a plus, not the plus. It's $3.99. The capacity is smaller at 16 gigabytes, and it also doesn't offer the Wi-Fi connectivity, which, I mean. Well, it's kind of nice if you can put it to your smartphone, but, um, you know, 
you probably want as much space as possible you know, if you're taking high definition pictures because you can take video with this as well. You can take video and the thing is that while you're down there, you don't have the option of you know getting an SD card or unloading pictures or whatever. So you don't want to you know, be mid-dive and find out that your camera's run out of space. Very so. cool. Well, I'm going to check this out here. Uh, very cool camera. If you're looking for something for underwater, like true underwater photography, definitely check out uh, the models from Sea Life. They've got uh, uh, a whole range of different uh, models available and accessories uh, too. Pretend you're an eel.